so as usual I got my uh, FT3 that I've had from you and sold it um, and then literally the next day thought why have I sold that it's amazing so I've got it back um, lucky it came with a few extras um, a cigarette charging uh, adapter spare battery a leather case and a charging dock so I actually ended up better off but um, yeah, I sold it because the speaker sometimes is very tinny and drives me crazy um, and that's why I sold it. But the functionality of the FT3 is so good, it's actually worth the fact that the speaker could be better and you do have the options for a Bluetooth speaker or a Bluetooth headphone. So here's just me unboxing it and setting it up and 0FXB. 0FXB, well if you know me well, you'll know that I keep selling radios and then buying them back again. <laughs> So I got lucky this time. I sold my FT3 the other day for a, a certain amount of money and decided I w regretted selling it. So I've just bought this one. I got lucky because this one came with a a battery, a spare, ba a spare battery, which these are worth like £60, and the charger and the leather case um, for the same price that I had sold the handset. So just a quick unboxing. So, you know, with the FT3 and the 300, they have really nice looking boxes. And if you look at the new ICOM 705, they're doing the same sort of thing. So just so I've got this on memory that I re-got it. I mean, why did I sell it in the first place? Well, the audio on the FT3 is it can be very tinny. Sometimes it will come through okay if there's a very good link with a nice deep audio but generally if you go on America link it's a bit tinny to be honest anyway here it is so we've got the manual this sets um, could be about a year old this set you know it, you, the person bought it when it first came out so but it's still um, I need to get a bit higher and good neck so there's the the manual so inside the package he's got me the, the programming lead here, um, the actual radio, which I haven't even looked at, so I'm hoping there's, uh, there's no major marks on it. There it is, looks fine, looks like new. Um, I'll get a screen, I've got a screen protector for there. I've watched the teardown on one of these and the screen that you touch is the actual screen. There's no glass in between. So anyway, there's the, the set. It's quite a small set. <clears throat> Actually the same size as the FT as the FT70. And the, the FT70 is an excellent radio. That's for, uh, it's got a little switch in there for firmware if I remember right. So yeah, very happy with that. It's in excellent condition. Um, there's the the battery, nice chunky battery on these, and the spare one I've got has actually come with a, a spare, um, what do you call it, belt clip, so he's got a belt clip on there, um, so I think it's 1800 milliamp these, got that, that's an adapter for your power supply, Oh yeah, that was another thing that was included in this that I never had before, was a, a power supply cigarette lighter. So that, that's another £20 worth that I never had. So sometimes you get lucky when you sell these things. And um, <clears throat> there's the uh, power adapter. Yeah, same as the one I had before. So I'll get I'll fire that up in a minute. But what I'll do, I'll just um, put the battery in the in the radio um, just so uh, you can see it just turn on so okay I need to remember I get it right I literally just think it just clips in there pushes in um, oh yeah antenna so I'll keep all these wrappings if I'm lucky he'll have the um, the original screen covering, which I'll look for in a minute. Not that it's needed, but it's nice to have it. So, yeah, so antennas always, I think they always work good. So get the antenna on there. We'll just turn it on. 
Uh, he's still got his call sign in there. <laughs> so we just go um, menu. I like these nice and bright. We'll go to display. Uh, it'd be lamp, LCD dimmer. Let's select that. Yeah, it's as bright as it would go. So we'll go to lamp. Um, see if we can change that. Continuous back. Um, it might be on the brightest setting. It's quite bright here. Display. Yeah, that's it. Let's go back. Make sure there's no other one. LCD band scope language back back. Have a look at his memory channels. So A memory. Oh, there's nothing in there. Um, might have another bank now. And if you wanted to go into Y as X, you hold down the X when you're in DN mode. Uh, so you go F, uh, go back, mode, there you go. We're in DN there. If I go to tap the screen, put in 4, 3, 8, 8, that's mine. And then we'll go mode. Uh, we don't want to be negative. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this, so... Mm, can't see the obvious one. Back, so we go hold down display. No, let's go config. Repeater shift. Now if we turn off the automatic, I think that one, off, go back, might not, oh it's still there, so let's, <laughs> let's go config, repeat a shift, and then let's just turn that off. And then we're going to hold down the X, just for fun. Actually, no, we need to be in VFO. As you... G9, JPT, New York. <clears throat> well, there goes my, you know, my hotspot. Let's just see if I can just remember how to get it into X mode. DN. There it goes. It's flashing now. Not making a connection. <clears throat> Sometimes it does it second time. All right, try again. No. Oh well. At least we heard someone come in there. M zero FXB. Unboxing after rebuying a radio. Seven three. Yeah. Okay, Stuart. Well, the uh, I think the FTM four hundred is a excellent radio. I've had one for about a year, and then I sold it, of course, like I do. Um, currently using as a base station C four FM radio the three hundred, but the screen's tiny. Uh, the functionality is quite similar. A different design slightly, uh, no touch screen. So I can see why you really like the 400. Do you do much APRS on that? I always found the APRS on that was very good. Back to you, Stuart. There you go, so we have a contact and it's working fine and it's connected to Wires X. I forgot to put the call sign in, that was the problem.